The force is a binding metaphysical power that unites all living things in the universe. Of course, that's just in Star Wars. There's nothing like that in the real world that people could use to levitate objects or influence people's decisions. Or is there? I'm Rusty Ward and I'm kind of obsessed with figuring out how I can attain real superpowers. Powers like the ones we see in sci-fi films and read about in comic books. In past episodes, I've explained how to get an Iron Man exoskeleton and heal like Wolverine. In this episode, I want to find a real-world equivalent of the Force. Darth Vader and Obi-Wan Kenobi talk about the Force as something that's all around us, that's ever-present. They can sense changes to it, use it as a form of telekinesis, or to manipulate someone's mind. If we're looking for a real-world equivalent of the Force in our own universe, we should start by looking at the four fundamental forces. These are gravity, electromagnetism, the strong force, and the weak force. Gravity is the force that attracts physical bodies to one another. The strong force is what binds protons and neutrons inside the nucleus of an atom. The weak force deals with radioactivity and subatomic particles. Electromagnetism is the interaction between electrically charged particles and magnetic fields. If I were looking for a force in our universe that most resembled the force in the Star Wars universe, it would be electromagnetism. It's stronger than gravity and has a longer range than either the strong force or the weak force. We're surrounded by electromagnetism and it affects all matter with an electrical charge, which is all life. But even if electromagnetism is all around us, can we use it to sense our surroundings? Can we sense a great disturbance in the force like Obi-Wan can? Or sense the force in another person the way Darth Vader does? Well, sharks can. They have an organ called the ampullae of Lorenzini. This organ allows them to detect the electromagnetic fields of the objects around them. They can sense great disturbances like a ship with a large magnetic field moving through the water, or small ones, like a fish that's about to become lunch. But anyone that's ever read a comic book featuring Magneto knows that magnetic manipulation only works on metal objects. We couldn't use electromagnetic fields to throttle the windpipe of an insolent subordinate the way Darth Vader does, right? Wrong. All objects can be influenced by magnetic fields. Metal objects are just more susceptible to them. If something, like a human being, is less susceptible to magnetic fields, that simply means we need a stronger magnetic field in order to manipulate it. If you have a strong enough field, you can levitate a living organism, like the frog in this video that's being held in mid-air by a high field magnet. Electromagnetic fields can also affect people mentally. If you direct magnetic fields at different areas of the brain, you get all sorts of responses. They can be used to completely pacify a subject so that nothing at all bothers them, such as two suspicious droids passing through a stormtrooper checkpoint. They can be used to make someone hallucinate, like hearing a bunch of rebels on the other side of the hangar. And they can even be used to alter someone's sense of morality so it may seem okay to go over to the dark side. So the Force is with us, we just have to learn how to manipulate it. For that, check out the future episode of Science Friction that takes on Magneto. Thanks for watching, be sure to subscribe and check out some of the other episodes of Science Friction that tell you how to fly, turn invisible, and freeze time. And as always, let me know what superpower you want.